Hello Capricorn, welcome. We are going to be checking in with what is coming up for you. This week I won't be having any extended readings because I will be focusing on personal readings. So if you need a reading, you may want to um, purchase one this week so you can get it as soon as possible. Uh, for others of you, that's about it. <laughs> that's That was it. Let's see what is going on for my dear Capis, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is coming up for you? Ooh, the transformation with the Harmony, the Lover's card. Bottom of the deck is Hope. It looks like you're about to leave something behind as your transition period is, ooh, that's a lot, uh, is coming and you... You're making a lot of changes here. You're, that's what I'm seeing. You're transforming something in your life in order to meet someone halfway. The Harmony card is saying that you, you are in love with someone. You want to reunite with this person. Um, you feel a lot of passion for this person. And look at that. You got the Awareness card. There is a strong manifestation here. Like You see your vision. You see yourself with this individual. Uh, you're ready to jump on this new beginning, on this new uh, journey with this individual. Wow, that's a lot of major arcana. So something major is about to happen. And look at that wisdom card. You're going to learn so much more from this connection, so much more from this partnership. It's like a it's, it, this is like a twin flame connection that brings a lot of lessons, wise lessons, learning from, from each situation, um, teaching each other situations. I mean, you got like four major arcanas. Let's, let's pull the fifth one. Let's see if that is also major for you. What a major shift coming through, mate. No, not the fifth one. The fifth one is the uh, strength, spiritual strength. So it feels like... In order to achieve this, you do need to rely on your inner strength. You need to push things through. You have a lot of spirit guides around you that are helping you, that are guiding you, that are teaching you the way. And you just need to trust in yourself. Trust in the balance here. You got the waiting game at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you've been waiting for this breakthrough. You've been waiting for this, um, for this love even. Like the way that this is coming with this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, it's really filling your heart space with a lot of optimism, a lot of positivity. And there's definitely a lot of abundance that is waiting for you. Feels like this is a big opportunity for you to grow, to grow together. But most likely it feels like for you because these energies feel like Yes, someone is there supporting you and helping you or will be. But at the same time, it's all about the self, right? The hierophant, the awareness, the, 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 the magician. It's all like your own commitment to your own goals and to your own manifestation. And the nine of wands self is like inner strength. So, yeah. Something big is about to happen here. You have the Eight of Cups with the Empress. Some of you may need to leave your mother behind. Again, we're starting off with a Death card. That's a big transformation. That's a big ending of a cycle that is going on right now. Uh, we got the Sun, which we already saw here as well with the Light. We have the Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. And we've got the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, that's a major shift in your life. I'm going to be repeating it because it feels like sometimes you feel like, oh, there's so much to do. I need to fix that. I'm not sure if I'm able to... Um, complete this task you have like a lot of things going on in your life you might be very busy but at the same time you're doing all of this because you want to achieve something you have some type of a goal a wish and you will be getting like your your 
I want to say like your emotional recognition from it. Uh, whatever you've been desiring, it's coming to you, right? Like this is you being very passionate. This is you being open for the opportunity and taking the opportunity. And this is going to change your life. Like whatever it is, it's going to be life changing with the wheel of fortune. The Knight of Swords, it's going to be quick. Like your life is going to shift very quickly. And it has a very optimistic and positive outcome. A very abundant future is what I'm seeing here. Let's clarify a little bit deeper with these uh, energies. I really see like your hard work is being paid off. What is this death card? Four of Swords. The Sun has a King of Pentacles. Wow. The Two of Pentacles has, wow, the Five of Cups, the Sun, and the Eight of Cups. So it's obvious that you may need to leave something behind in order to make this huge shift, right? Um, you may need to leave your elderly house. You may need to leave your town. You may need to leave something behind. And this is something that's been stressing you out and you've been trying to take some time to think about things, to think through, like, how, are, how am I going to complete this? How am I going to end this? How am I going to um, kind of like complete this chapter before I move over to the next one, which is very normal, right? Uh, you have the King of Pentacles with the Sun, so it means that financially this is going to be a huge step forward. So if you felt like um, you were a little bit stuck financially, things were not growing, and you were not able to you know, get your riches, this is saying that you're going to have a very abundant future, right? A very positive. Uh, you're someone that is very dedicated to your goals, and you have a lot of intelligence within you to realize that. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. Look at this. We have the two of pentacles with the two of cups and the lover's card on top of the nine of cups. So you got twice the twin flame energy with the soulmate energy, meaning that the card before that was the two of pentacles. That two of pentacles is now in the reverse. It's like, stop juggling the situation. It's like, you know that this is what you want and you should just go for it. You should go after your desires. Yes, maybe, maybe you fear that when you walk away from a certain situation that has been very emotional to you, you will be, you know, feeling a little bit down or you may be feeling a little bit of regret, but eventually I see still the sun. Like no matter what it is that you're going to leave behind, there is something bigger and better coming up for you. And this is absolutely unbelievable. Like the lovers in the two of cups, cannot make this up. Look at this Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant clarifying the Ace of Wands, which is saying that this is, this is a relationship that really is very fiery, very passionate, but it also has like a common ground. It has like a, some sort of structure, something that could give you longevity, uh, a commitment for the long term, financial commitment, but also like passion for the long term, because Let's be honest, the Hierophant is really nice when it comes to commitments and relationships and stability, but it can get boring if there is no Ace of Wands. It's like that adventurous, that passionate, that playful energy. Uh, if you don't have that, things can get boring. If you don't have the money thing, uh, that could also bring some stress and drama, right? But I see that you're manifesting all of it if you would take that leap of fate. So I like this. Me gusta. Me gusta, me gusta, me gusta. You can make your imagination real. Being bold, look at that. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. 
voila what else do you need to hear it's all about that it's all about being bold and taking that risk for that new beginning right and then you will be favored because the wheel is about to turn in your favor you have six seven major arcana that's a huge spiritual shift with a lot of abundance that's like a jackpot like seven 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 unexpected windfall you're going to get more money to realize your goals uh you're going to have a lot of more let's see yeah you're going to have a lot more uh, opportunities to make more money and also grow your abundance your seeds are growing money is flowing it's a good affirmation my seeds are growing money is flowing my seeds are growing and money is flowing. Yes, let's do that. It's time to release negativity because luck is on your side. Like spirit is just saying like get out of your headspace if you are in that space because you are about to get very lucky. All you need to do is make some adjustments. That's with the two of pentacles, which is very obvious. We need to take care of a lot of things, juggle things around. Um, these kind of things are very important. But once you release your fears and any negativity around it you will notice that spirit is favoring you okay meditate and contemplate so take some time to focus on yourself and to go with the flow of life because you're going to get abundance but you're blocking yourself by fearing uh, but beautiful things are waiting for you happy so that's what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated for you and I hope to see you soon. Make sure to drop a like and a comment. And if you need any personal services, readings or oils, jewelry, whatever it you need, you can find it all in the illustilluminator.com website, simply in the description box below. And I'll catch you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.